thinking of cutting costs on your streaming subscriptions on account sharing websites such as Gamscale. But before you do, let's uncover if it's a savvy saving or a risky ripoff. Prices for Netflix and other subscriptions are rising. And the last time I checked for the YouTube premium subscription on my phone, they asked me for 16 euros and 99 cents each single month. So family accounts and account sharing offers look really tempting if we can get, for example, YouTube premium for below than $3, well, actually, it would cost us 16.99 euro. And if you ever stumbled upon those websites such as Gamsco, you might be curious about the authenticity and also if those offers are legal or not. Also, I got a bunch of questions about the security of our data and payment information. And that's what this video will be all about. So let's uncover how safe it is to use account sharing websites such as Gamsco. So let's get started. And for everyone who doesn't know yet what Gamsco is, Gamsco is an account sharing platform where we can purchase premium subscriptions such as Netflix, YouTube Premium, Disney Plus, Tidal Plus, Office 365 and much, much more for a fraction of the actual cost. And this is because they do account sharing. So with Netflix, for example, you will get up to five sub accounts, which you could share among your family. Same applies for YouTube Premium, where you can buy either a single account or a family account. And if you have a family account, then you can invite other users to actually use YouTube Premium for free. But this is not the only reason why Gamsco can actually offer this kind of low prices to the entire community. They open the accounts of Netflix and similar in low income countries, such as for example, Turkey, Argentina, or even India. And in those countries, they do have different prices rather than for example, in Germany or the US. So you're asking now why you should not offer yourself some sharing subscriptions and actually you can easily do it. And I know there are a lot of Facebook groups as well where you can buy some shared subscriptions. And I actually tried it in the past and I honestly have to tell you that this was quite a hustle. Many times the password didn't work and you need to wait for a reply from the support or they didn't even reply. I'm already using Gamsco since one and a half years and I never had any issue. The support here is amazing. They reply to you almost instantly or within one, two minutes maximum and they always deliver really good answers. And actually, if you go and purchase any of your other subscriptions, you could also add the promo code GREAT click on apply and it will give you some additional savings. Or you can simply use the link down below in the description. So with Gamsco, you do not only get real-time delivery, but also in case there's any issue with the password, you can really do a one-click password reset without even involving the support or wait for a support reply. You just go into your dashboard, you click on reset password and it will be done instantly. Also, Gamsco is offering a refund guarantee so in case you have any issues with your account, it's not working for you, you have 20 days to apply for a refund. And this is something I did in the past once, so I tried all the subscriptions they had on Gamsco for you. And when I tried ABO Max, it didn't work for me, so after more than a week, I reached out to the support, they replied really quickly. As I told them that it's not working for me, they offered me two solutions. Either I could have a refund or the second option is to move the subscription to another subscription. So for example, with ABO Max, I still had more than 20 days left, but I then took the decision to move it to Netflix. And even though Netflix had a higher monthly fee rather than ABO Max, they still moved my subscriptions to Netflix without any additional cost. So this is something which is also really nice about sites like Gamsco, but you have to make sure that's a good company, a good website and actually having a good trust factor. And one website where you can actually check how good a company is doing is Trustpilot. And with Trustpilot, you can see that Gamsco is having more than 7,000 reviews with an average rating of 4.9 stars. So this is really, really awesome. And it actually reflects my own experiences with Gamsco as well. Also, Gamsco is more than five years already on the market. And so far, really, there are no issues reported. 
Gamsco recently also published another site which is called GoSplit. You will also find the link down below in the description. And the difference here is, well, Gamsco is offering the shared subscriptions themselves. In GoSplit, it's a community website. So you could offer your account yourself here on this community and this split your costs among different users while still earning some money. Or if there are some subscriptions which are not available on Gamsco, you can also buy them here. For example, some accounts which you have on GoSplit but not on Gamsco is now, is F1 TV, also various VPNs, Envato elements, but even subscriptions for PlayStation, Xbox, Masterclass, and they even had Calm and Canva in the past, so it's definitely worth to check it out. But GoSplit will be covered in another video, so let's check out how legal is Gamsco, how many risks are involved, especially when it comes to your personal data and your accounts. One question which people ask me quite a lot, if you're doing a purchase, like how safe are your payment details? If you go on purchase now, first of all, don't forget to add the promo code GREAT and then you can simply go to payments. And there you will find a lot of different payment methods. It might vary depending on your country. And you can see that, for example, you can pay with credit or debit cards, even with Google Pay, Apple Pay and crypto. And the first thing here is I highly trust that our payment methods are safe because Gamsco is not having access to your actual payment details, but they are working with an API connection from the service providers. But for example, from a hardware wallet, such as the Decent wallet, where we can store our cryptos really safely, which is not always connected with the internet, but in order to actually make a transaction, we need to confirm it with our fingerprint. So Decent is a biometric hardware wallet and it was actually the first of its kind. In case you are interested in getting your own hardware wallet, you will find the link down below in the description. And for example, with the Decent wallet, you would also get $30 off when you're using my link. So if you want to pay with crypto, you will also see that Gamsco is actually not operating the transaction, but even here they are using a third party provider, which in this case is CoinPal. And there you can not only select Bitcoin, USDT or similar, but they support more than 60 currencies. So it's a really convenient way to make your payment in a secure way in case you have any trust issues with adding your payment details on sites like Gamsco. And when we are talking about other personal details such as your email address, name, whatever, don't worry. All Gamsco is having from you is actually an email address with which you have to create the account with Gamsco. But even here, if you don't wish to use your actual email address, just go for example on ProtonMail and there you can create a new email address really easily without adding a lot of data and it's a really encrypted email service based in Switzerland. It's pretty secure and I highly recommend you this one in case you don't want to share your Gmail address or whatever it is. Now let's dive into the legal aspect of account sharing providers. So we all know if we have an account with Netflix, for example, we get here a, a total of five sub accounts. And this is what you would get also if you're going with Gamsco. Gamsco will provide you with your email address and some password. And then if you want, you can lock up your account, your profile, actually this no one else can access your watch history and similar. So here you don't have to worry about it at all. No one will be able to see your watch history if you just lock it up. And even though I'm not a legal advisor, I checked in with a lawyer and he told me that this one is totally safe to use when it comes to legal matters. There's no law or similar that prohibits the use of account sharing websites or to share your account details with others. However, those platforms still move in some kind of a gray area, even though it's effectively not violating any law, but it is many times against the terms and conditions of the said service providers. So if we are sticking to the example of Netflix, it is known that Netflix doesn't like sharing account details, but it's also known that they don't do much about it. 
technically you could lose your account or the access of the account if you are using a shared premium subscription just because it's against the terms. And that's why with Netflix, for example, instead of canceling account, they will give you some kind of warnings or asking you to confirm the different accounts in the same IP area once in a while so that Netflix can confirm that you are only sharing your account details with someone in your household. So as long as we are sharing account details with someone who lives with us, it's 100% totally legal and also in terms of the Netflix conditions. But if we are sharing our account details with someone or even with family members who do not live with us, then we do have some issues with the terms. But even here, even if this happens, Netflix will not delete any account as of now. But what they implemented are some paid sub profits. For example, we have to pay them 3.99 euros a month or 5.99 euros, depending on where we live. After checking in with Gamsco and I asked them, okay, how is it in case that Netflix will ask us to pay these 3.99 or 5.99 per month per sub user, additionally to what we already paid when we bought this account, and Gamsco confirmed here that whenever we purchase one subscription, it will remain at the price we already agreed. Only after our account expired, then they would be able to increase the account. So for example, if we go on purchase now, you will see that for example, six months will cost 22.77 USD and three months do cost around 11 USD. So if we go with the three months, those $11 will be fixed. Even there's something with the Netflix subscription and they ask us for additional charge. This will all be covered by Gamsco. And same as if we are using the six month, then we are safe for six months. So, but what happens in the worst case and Gamsco is actually deleting, banning the account from Gamsco. Gamsco will give us access to another account so that we still can watch our movies and series or in the really worst scenario, just refund our pending amount. So you see that using websites like Gamsco for account sharing is safe when it comes to legal matters. And even though for some subscriptions, it might be against the terms, those platforms usually don't do much against it. I mean, what do we have to risk? Even if Netflix account is banned and blocked, it's still not our account. We still get the refund from Gamsco. All we lost then is our watch history, which I don't think is such a big deal if we especially compare it with the savings, which we can have. And for me, Gamsco is still a really good option. I still love to use it and I will still use it in the future. And right now I'm also trying GoSplit, which is still a new platform, of course. But as it's the same people from Gamsco, I'm really looking into it and trying it myself as well. I would love to hear your thoughts on those account sharing websites and if you would risk it to use it or not and why. And in case you don't only want to save money, but also make more money online and partly passively, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell and check out my other video where you can make money while sleeping.